Hello, dear friends. Welcome back on the tutorial. Uh, today we will start the first uh, tutorial from the solid cam. So this is our the work piece to be the manufacturer. So in this tutorial we will learn the, how to select our the stock values, the work piece, and how to the, initiate the first step for the solid cam, and we will learn how to create uh, the face milling operation and uh, select uh, the specific tool, the face milling, the, the, the tool for the face milling. So uh, in order to open the solid cam, there is several options. You can uh, here the select the tool and here the select the solid cam. So it should be installed and select here the new and uh, we will see the the milling operation just select the milling operation So we here the this new the milling part new will be obtained. Let's open it and uh, here just uh, press OK here. Thank you with the solid cam and uh, the this uh, menu of the, the milling operation will be obtained. As the for the beginning here we have to define our the the workpiece. And the machine, the, the first step here, if you open here, the, this uh, list here, you see the several, the machines available that is installed, the, the, the machines, the post processor, the available in solid cam. And, uh, <clears throat> in this case, let's uh, use the, the, this one, that one of 1000 selected. And uh, we have to next step is to define our the coordinate system, the stock value, and uh, this target the workpiece. So this three step is important. That's the first step. So let's define for the beginning the coordinate system. That is the reference zero point. And uh, let's select here the, this one coordinate system. And uh, the, here the definition options. So you have the several options to select your the define your the zero point so that you can select from the face you can define the the, the coordinate system or you can use the reference system or you can define the coordinate system by the C points in this case let's uh, make use the, this one you select face and if you select for example the this face you see here in the corner, this coordinate system will be period that that axis will be the perpendicular to the selected space and uh, here the two other X and Y axis that is in the corner. So, and just uh, press OK here to exit from the coordinate system. Now you see it is created here and uh, press OK. Just press OK again here. So coordinate system is created. Now we have to define the stock value. So go to this here to select the stock. And here the there is if you open here there's several options to define the stock value box, extrude, see the model, cylinder, or a cell file. So since our the element in the box type so we can use in this case the box and here the selection here the select the workpiece you see if you select here the solid part here in the selection in this case you see that the stock is represented and if you down here you will see the, the stock values by default it is the, the two, 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 and the, here the six. 
along the x direction, positive and negative. And uh, you can see in the, this view, if you look here, you see the stop values is a two millimeters in the up and the right sides along the x axis here and the down and the, along the z axis is a six millimeter that's to for the, the, the clamping. And uh, let's to keep the, this stock value, the two, 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 and this one. And you can define the stock value by yourself the, by the typing the, here, the values, if you want. So uh, you can uh, only the, make that exist and the, all, all this, let's make it zero, these values. So, and uh, that value is uh, this zero. So you see it will become zero on the, all the sides. Only here the two millimeter will be remained since our purpose is to the face milling in this tutorial. So to remove this two millimeter overstock from the upper surface of the, our the workpiece, just the, the cleaning operation. So we will keep here the two millimeter along the z-axis so just press ok here so we defined our the stock and the coordinate system and the last step is to define the target is the target is the, the the final the product so you see if you go to the, the here then selection it will directly select our the, the product so it's final product press ok here so we define it our the three the definitions for our the operation the history. Now we can uh, press OK here to exit from the definition. So uh, we define it our workpiece, and here in the menu you can see uh, we define it our the machine, the coordinate system, the stock value, the target. So we can. Uh, uh, go to the stock value and right click and here press the show to see our the stock value the same way you can uh, see the target right click and show so we define it our the, the target here so uh, we define it our the definition for the our the work now we can uh, start with the our the operation in the here have the tools and operation operations. So, so in order to make the operation, just the right the, go to the operation, right click here, the operation and uh, add milling operation. So here you have several operations that the milling, in this case, we will use here the face milling. So select the face milling. This uh, the face milling operation will be obtained. Op uh, this uh, open it. So the first step we have to define our the geometry. So let's uh, create in here. Select a new geometry. So in this case, in the define, select the target. So here yeah, our target selected and that's okay. So we define the geometry. Now, next step is to define our the tool. So select the tool here and select here the select. And uh, here, select the add milling tool. And you will see here the, the several tools for the milling operation. Since our the operation is the, the first, is the face milling, it's the always the, 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 we will start our operation face milling. So we will select this tool face and uh, you see here the, the, the tool for the face milling with the, the inserts, uh, the, the dimensions, and the here by default, there is the dimensions of the, the, the tool. And uh, according to the specification, you can uh, the, define the dimension. You see, if you select here the dimensions, it will be appear here, it's a diameter, the, the the shoulder length and so on so i will keep the by default in this case and if you go here the the tool data you can also define the tool the speed spindle speed and the, the feed weights and so on i will keep by default in this value so you can define the by yourself 
according to the tool specification. So, and then just press the here to select to accept this tool. So the tool is selected now. Next step is to the, go to the level. In this case, we have to define the, our the cutting depth. So, so in this case, I will do like this for the beginning. The for the beginning, just uh, we will select here the the upper upper level. So select to the upper level, and uh, here select the uh, this face. Press OK on the face steps here, right here, the two millimeter. Since we have to remove the two millimeter the old stock, which we the Z axis and the step down, let's make it is the 0 0.5. It means that every uh, the zero point mile will do the depth of cut. So next is to go to the, the technology. We define at this parameter. Let's go to the technology and here. Let's uh, define the, the, the tool of the, the path of the tool. They can say the edge. Let's keep all this one and one way, or you can make it a zigzag, the, the, the depth or depths, but the cutting type or one way. So we will see the other option. So now it's almost ready. Our the, we can the, uh, skip the other options. So next is to here go to the safe and calculate. Less than safe and calculate. You see here in our the here the tool pass is generated. Since we have the zero point we define it here the, in the level is the zero point five. This is the two millimeter will be the cut at four times, which is the average is zero point five. If you here write the, the one millimeter, it will be just uh, uh, two 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 depths two two fast let's make it one to see and uh, here save and calculate again you see it will become the two millimeter two times one and two so let's uh, go to 1.5 again and just again save and calculate so this is our the tool pass in a zigzag form for the face milling to remove two millimeter in order to simulate it Select here the simulate. So, and uh, select here the we can several options. In this case, let's see the select the solid modify option, and you can uh, here the speed up the, the simulation speed. Let's put it in the lowest one, and here select the play to see the simulation. So you see the face milling is the generated. This two millimeter overstock is to removed from the upper surface, and here can close it. And the operation we generated here the this one is the face mainly. And if you double click here, you can again enter to the face milling operation, and you can change the the values as you want here. Again, so this is the first tutorial for the face milling. On the next tutorial, we will see the other operations in the solid camp.